Hello, my name is Gary Dickinson from Mega and today I'm going to talk to you about the features and benefits of the Mega PAC 400 range of portable appliance testers. All three testers have a massive 10,000 asset memory, colour display, USB upload and download and a full QWERTY keyboard. First in the range is the PAC 410 which is suitable for office environment and for those of you that are happy to test at 200 milliamps. It is the smallest and lightest in the range. Next we move on to the workhorse of the range, the PAT420. It tests at 110 and 240 volts. It's ideal for commercial and industrial applications. And finally, the PAT450, which is identical to the PAT420 with the addition of flash testing at 1.5 and 3 kV, making it ideal for manufacturing, repair and tool hire. All three products are designed and manufactured in Dover and all conform to the IEE code of practice. First off, we'll introduce you to the front fascia of the instrument and the home screen. The tester has full PAT test capability, including RCD. Has a vast onboard memory, colour display, instant reboot when you move from room to room. It has a 240 volt, fuse check, extension lead, 110 volt, lead null, single test lead port. Hot keys, giving you access to class one, class two, extension leads and RCDs. It has a quick test button, which allows you to carry out an individual test on an asset without storing the results. It has USB ports, for upload and download and for the accessories. Now we're going to take you through adding a client. From the home screen using the navigation keys we move to setup, client and press OK. Now we have the hot keys so to add a client brings us to this screen and we type in the client. Save and it moves on to location where we can now add the location. Upon saving that the tester now knows where we are and where we're testing. Moving on, I'll take you through the procedure of adding an asset. So, as you can see, we've added the client, which is Mega, the location, the factory, and now we're going to add an asset. There are two ways to do this. You can select with the hotkeys, class 1, class 2, extension leader, RCD, carry out the test on the asset, and then put the information in afterwards. Alternatively, we can press the Add Asset key, this takes us to the next screen where we can physically add all the information on the asset. So we can at this point put in the asset identification number using the navigation keys we scroll down and select the test group. As you can see on the screen there are several different codes on there. These are predefined at the factory but you can edit these and you can add your own. In this instance we're going to test an extension lead, a class 1 extension lead. So we'll scroll down to EL1 and press the select key. Using the navigation keys again we move down and type in the description. Serial number, if there is one that's applicable to that piece of equipment. The fuse rating of the piece of equipment and the room that the piece of equipment is in. Moving down we have the retest frequency on the asset and as you can see we're in the client and location of Mega and the factory. At this point you can press the hotkey here to save the asset to the memory or you can press the test button which allow you to save it to memory and commence with the testing. If you have duplicate applications or duplicate pieces of equipment you can physically press the hotkey here which will bring the information back up on the next asset and all you then have to do is change the asset identification and any descriptions.
Before we start testing, we need to null out the earth bond lead. To do this, using the navigation keys, we move across the screen to setup, and then using the hot key, this takes us into the lead null. We now, as followed by the instructions on the screen, connect the lead to the tester and to the null post. We then press the test button to null the lead. And as you can see by the display, we have a reading for what the lead is set to and also an indication on the screen that the lead is null to the tester. Even when we return to the home screen, the information tells you that the lead is null. First off, we'll run through a class 1 test. So now we're going to carry out the class 1 test. As you can see, by the screen we've entered all the information about the piece of equipment we're going to test. It's a coffee maker, it's a standard class 1 piece of equipment. So we move forward to the test. As you can see on the screen, it's an aid memoir to make sure that you've carried out the visual inspection, which is checking the lead, making sure the plug is terminated correctly and the correct fuse is fitted. As you can see in the background, while it's waiting for this information or carrying out the test, the display has a yellow background. If for any reason the piece of equipment should fail, that background will turn red and the test will be aborted. As it runs through the test and passes, the background will change to green. So we now move forward and we're into the earth bond test. So we apply the test lead and commence the test. We're now moving forward to the insulation test. And then we have a warning screen that pops up after the insulation test to tell us that the piece of equipment under test will now operate. So we press the test button to proceed. And at this point, it's checking the leakage and the load of the piece of equipment. And that is the test completed. Next, we'll carry out a class two test. As you can see from the screen, again, we've entered the information with regard to the asset, and we'll now proceed to test. Once again, we're at the start of the test with the visual to make sure we've carried out that inspection, and we move forward. It's now asking us to attach the remote test probe as this is a class two appliance that we're testing. It's now carrying out the insulation test. And the warning screen again to tell us that the asset is going to operate and again we move forward. At this point, the load and the differential leakage is being tested on the asset. As you can see from the screen, 287 VA. The asset has passed and that is the class 2 test completed. Now we'll look at extension lead testing. So now we're going to carry out the extension lead test. Once again the information is in the display and you can see we've connected the extension lead to the PAT tester with the extension lead test lead. And we proceed to test. Visual inspection again, we move forward. And it's carrying out the bond test and the polarity and finally the insulation test. And that is the test completed. And finally, let me show you the RCD test. This is a full function 17th edition RCD test. Again, asset information is on the screen and we proceed to the test. We have the visual inspection once more and we continue. Reset the RCD as instructed on the screen. 
and press the test button on the RCD. Once again we reset and it is now testing at half I. Now testing at one times zero degrees asks us to reset at 180 degrees reset five times at zero degrees and five times at 180 and that is the test completed. Next let's look at the USB download and upload facility. So now finally after we've carried out all of these tests we need to back up the data to USB. So from the home screen using the navigation keys we move across to data and select backup to USB. This will create a backup file and this file can be used to restore data and all current results and test groups and settings will be saved to the stick. At this point we attach the stick to the tester and press OK. It's now requesting a file name so that you can give each individual download a separate name. So we'll put in their main site and press OK to continue. USB operation is complete, press OK to continue and all your data is now on the USB stick. Now let's have a look at the printer and barcode accessories. Two accessories that are available for the PAT400 series are the barcode printer and the barcode scanner. As you can see by the screen we've completed our test so at this point with the two hot keys here we can save the asset or we can save the asset and print a barcode. So we'll save the asset and print a barcode. This is the barcode that is produced and this can be attached to the asset. So returning to the home screen, when we return in a year's time to carry out some testing, with the barcode scanner we can scan the barcode and all the relevant information will appear on the screen with regard to the asset to be test and then you can proceed straight into the test. That concludes today's demonstration. All three products carry a lifetime technical support. They come with a full calibration certificate. If you require any further information, please contact Dover Sales on 01304 502 101 or the technical support group on 01304 502 102. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.